Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Rainey. So I'm doing a reading for Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpios, my fellow water signs. All right, ooh, got some core issues that you've been working through. Um, all right, so this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make anything fit that doesn't. Scorpio, in your past, you were in the energy of power. Uh, what's interesting is there's something in the past that caused a lot of delays, a standstill, stalling. Feels like you were on hold. Your life was on hold. Okay, wow. Okay. Wow, your life was on hold. It was, it felt very stalled out. And then this amazing new opportunity, a new job maybe came through. Uh, some type of financial opportunity, job, new venture. And you also got this mental clarity. Like, wow, what a glow up. And so now you're feeling very abundant and successful, prosperous, definitely financially prosperous and abundant. Wow. And so it's really put you in your power. You're feeling um, accomplished. Like, look, look what I can do. There's some, something, some belief that you were stalled in and wow, did you clear that out? I mean, new ideas, new truths, new opportunities, this new job, it feels like you were, um, feels like a dream come true maybe you didn't realize that you could have um, an opportunity that would be so fulfilling on so many levels, like not just a job job that pays the rent, but a job where you enjoy being with. And you're driven to succeed. It doesn't mean that the job is something like, but you feel this amazing success, this energy, um, it looks like you're also attracting people who, I want to say have fun, but um, also feel similarly. Wow, what a great start to a reading, Scorpio. All right, in present energies, you are in the energy of memories of love. So this is six of cups in the original tarot. So feels like you, um, you have fond memories, fond memory, it, but it also feels like you're letting go. Like they have a place in the past. So something that's going on right now is it feels like you're maybe a little retreat within yourself right now. Maybe that's why you're in the past thinking of like fond, these fond times um, because there's some kind of challenge that's making you feel defensive right now. Let's look into that more. Yeah, there's something that, that's requiring more courage for you to be courageous. 
bringing out that fiery side of you. I'm getting that this is actually, there's something about this that's, that's healthy, that's bringing you out of a very watery place and into some, your fire, testing your resilience and boundaries. There's something, it feels like something about, um, feels like an old energy, whatever there was that standstill and kind of stuck energy in the past that you overcame. It's, it might be taking you back into that space where, or you're fearful that it's going to take you back into that type of energy. Maybe you've dealt with depression and, and so getting a little inkling of that is, you know, but what I'm getting is it's putting a fire. You're, you're not, going to go back into um an unresolved constant sadness it's making you pissed off and firing you up and in the best way that i'm seeing fired you up because you're going to make changes um you have an inner truth there's it feels like there's some situation, maybe someone who's trying to manipulate and misuse their power. It, do, it does not feel like they're a very good match for you. It feels like you're, um, but honestly, the phrase I got, I'm not gonna take that shit anymore. It feels like this is um, an echo of some past energies that are coming in. And you're like, no, absolutely not. That I, I'm, I feel like this beaming, I'm so proud of your energy. This is, it looks fantastic. It looks like, um, you are learning how to work with your fire energy within that yes you are a water sign but you have access to all the signs energies or maybe you have a lot of fire in your charts you've got such a great big picture it feels like you're following your dreams you might literally be following your dreams for some of you and some of you are just following your intuition, what makes you happy. You're overcoming challenges, you're becoming more mature and focused on your career. It feels like you're ha like tuning into your energy um, is very positive. Like it feels like you've got a lot going on for you. And I, I honestly, I love this. Um, it feels like whatever this challenge is, um, this manipulation and misuse of power energy, who's making you more defensive and courageous and needing to speak on your boundaries and create boundaries. Um, it feels like it's, you're just, you're leveling up. You just keep being more you. And the more you you're being, um, the more of a powerhouse that you are. I mean, holy cow, it feels like um, a lot of growth. You're releasing fears. Feels like um, you are willing to look at the darkness. It, so shadow work. Feels like you're doing shadow work. It feels like some of you who are tuning in are energy workers, light workers, 
maybe tarot. There's a real, um, wow. This, I might be just talking to a couple of people out there, but um, really powerful. Like um, your, your energy shift um, helps others shift their energy, raise their vibration, love your energy. Whoever this is resonating with, um, just sending you a lot of appreciation for being you. Your higher self is in the energy of sacral chakra. So sacral is sexual energy, creative energy. So your higher self is saying, let's work on inner harmony. I feel like you're, you're really wanting to celebrate you. People might not have caught up with how you feel about yourself and how you see yourself. I feel like you're seeing yourself the way I'm speaking, like, like you've leveled up. You're so proud of yourself. You've come so far, you've shifted so much and at least right now, it's more of a purse on a personal level of celebration that, that others, it might take a while for them to perceive you and celebrate you, but it, you're creating that you're manifesting that. There's something about your manifestations not coming in as quickly as you would like. But you have everything that you need to create. You are manifesting. What, what are you manifesting? Wow. Movement, progress, action, integration. Boy, there's something big. I mean, you've been manifesting your glow up, but you're also, there's something um, that you're manifesting. Your chariot and magician. One thing I'm noticing about your energy, it feels like there's on some level, you know that it's inevitable or fairly obvious that this, you can feel it, that you're manifesting whatever this amazing thing is for each of you, it's different. But because it feels like you can feel the energy of it, which is keeping you going, However, you haven't seen a lot of evidence coming into the 3D yet of this manifestation, which is keeping you down or right? keeping it at bay. And also I'm getting that there's divine timing at work. There are a lot of parts to what you're manifesting. And so it's gonna take time for all those parts, divine timing for everything to come together, to be patient, to watch your negative self-talk instead of it's not coming in. I don't see it. It's not coming. Like it's coming in. I'm already enjoying the energy of it. I already appreciate the energy of it. I'm so excited to see how this unveils itself to me. And until then, I'm just enjoying knowing that eventually this will happen. I want to enjoy every bit of the journey. I want to remember this this moment before my manifestation came in and appreciate this is before, this is before, this is how I felt before it came in, how, and, and that be okay and delicious. Um, instead of I'll be happy once it comes in, instead there's an invitation that, you know, 
but this is a, a wonderful time before this manifestation came into the 3D. The challenge right now is throat chakra. What is, do you feel that you need to like a perfect speech that you, you can't mess up your words? It's something about your wealth, your work, your health. Oh yeah. What is that? It's in the back of your throat chakra. Um, there's some I can'ts, lacks. I, I can't do that. It does feel like self-talk so far in that throat chakra. How you're communicating with yourself is putting, gumming the work, slowing things down, making whatever that you're working on slow. Again, I'm getting delays. So in, I'm getting from your perception of what's going on, it's not happening fast enough. So that's coming from your ego instead of I trust that in divine timing, it'll work. I'm following my excitement. And and so it might appear like delays to my 3D self, but it's going to unfold perfectly. Are some of you having difficulty with your inner joy? It feels like you're putting off being happy until this comes in. Instead of activating and keeping joy in your space going so when it happens, you have access to that joy. Instead of, I'm gonna do, keep this down and I'm not gonna be happy until this happens okay you're not happy until and so when it does happen it if it i don't know if it can happen for some of you with that type of belief because the energy of attracting that is being in joy and so happy and excited and proud of yourself and feeling accomplished so my suggestion is to spend some time each day in the energy of gratitude that you already, like you already have whatever this is. And only think about this and work on this manifestation when you are in that attitude, like it's already happening. It's already on its way. It's already here. It's already here. I appreciate it. It's amazing. It's more than I expected. Also, I'm getting so letting go of the need for it to look and feel and be exactly how you want it and on your timeline, which doesn't give into consideration that the divine wants to make it bigger and better and more amazing for you. But by you wanting it it's like a control. You're wanting to control how it shows up and when it shows up instead of trusting that maybe it's even going to be better than you can imagine. A, a real dream come true. And it's okay to go within and contemplate this and find your, your truth in this. Because you can, you're really in that Queen of Cups space, that um, nurturing, healing, very focused on whatever is in that cup. And there's, it's like you've got the world in your hands. 
something, there's something more that wants to come out. What is it that um, Scorpio needs to know? To not see this delays and things not going, coming through. as incomplete. There's something about, this has come up twice now, the living in the past. It feels like some fears of things, again, like of it, um, things not going, oh, things not going your way triggers some belief in your space that things will never go your way type of energy. It, so I would work if this is resonating with you, Scorpio, to work on releasing those limiting beliefs and changing them for something that's much, something that you do believe and yet is much more conducive to moving energy and believing in yourself and attracting this. Right now, there's, there's a bit of a split. Like you have this amazing energy that you have access to. You are manifesting something wonderful. You've had this glow up and you're powerful and things are going your way. And, and just trust that whatever shows up is more for you to learn and make choices about. And that this will happen in divine timing and trusting that and appreciating it like it's already happened. So, all right, Scorpios, that's your reading. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Bye.